Hi guys and welcome to another video here on my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different because today I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to create a um, channel banner, which is pretty exciting. I just thought I would show you guys how I did mine because I recently um, changed my banner and basically my whole channel name just to be what my name is. Um, I just find that that just looks cleaner. Of course, my um, channel link and URL is still going to be Anna Vintage, but that's fine. It doesn't bother me. I just wanted a bit of a change and I think this is great and I love what I did and how I did it. I've always done my channel banners by myself ever since the beginning um, just because I like that sort of stuff. So anyways, enough of me rambling. Here's how to make your very own channel art banner and honestly it's super easy. So here's mine. Here's how it looks on my channel. Alright, so first we're going to go over to Pick Monkey and you're going to go to the Design tab and click Custom Size. Now, the size that YouTube says is the minimum size. Here, let me go to the little cheat sheet. It's 2048 by 1152. So this is where I was working on it before, but you're just going to do 2048 by 1152 so that is the size that is the minimum pixel size that YouTube says your channel art banner has to be so we're just gonna go ahead and click make it oh and by the way PicMonkey for the most part is free they do have some extra features that you can pay for if you want to pay for them but I don't so this is going to be a completely free Pick Monkey tutorial, so you don't need to buy anything. So this is just a blank canvas. So first off, what I like to do is I like to go into the overlay. So it's this little um, butterfly here that's for overlays. And then you're going to click add your own. So what I like to add is I'm gonna go down to where I have it saved is the YouTube channel art guide template so here it tells you um, what the sizes what the different sizes are for let's say if you're on a tablet this is how much of your channel banner is going to be seen by anybody who goes onto your channel right and this is very important because it has the text and logo safe area. So this is where you're going to want to put your logo, your channel name, any images that you want people to see every single time that they click your channel. So I just like having this here as a template. I'll put the link below to where you guys can copy and paste this. YouTube has it in one of their help forums. So. I just like to make this a really big um, thing just so I know kind of where it's going to be. Let me make this a little bit smaller because I feel like that's too big, too overwhelming. <laughs> so here this is a new thing that PicMonkey recently added which is layers and this is a pretty easy um, layer format. It's nothing complicated like Photoshop or anything, it's just if you want something to be um, above something else which you'll get it in a second so here's the YouTube channel art guide layer and then um, I'm going to add my background now so you can add whatever background you want if you want an image you can search for an image if you want an image that you already have you can do that as well but just for this tutorial specifically I'm just going to show you how I did my specific um, channel banner just to keep things pretty simple because honestly the possibilities are pretty endless as to what you want to do with this so I already downloaded a, um, a background image that I wanted to use 
So I'm just going to add it like I added the channel art guide just by going into the um, overlays and add my own overlay and then I'm going to put, get this um, shiplap wall image and what I like to do with this since I want this to be my whole background is I'm going to make it bigger. Next I'm going to add some text. So you can use some of the free fonts that PicMonkey has for you. Um, they have tons of royal ones, which are the ones that you pay for. Those are the ones with the crowns on them. But I don't want to use any of these, so I'm going to go into the yours. And I'm going to click this font, the Herodinos and something. And then just click add text and then click on it and I'm going to add my font so for me I just wanted my name and then I want a heart and this heart the way that you do it is honestly I just searched um, heart outline text and I found it somewhere and I just copied and pasted it but I have it now I put it in every single one of my descriptions of every single one of my videos. So if you just want to go to the, the if you just want to go to the description of this video, I will have one down below that you can just copy and paste straight out from the text. Super super easy. So next, now that I have my text, I'm just going to leave that alone and. Then I want to add another overlay. So this overlay, oops, I actually added text, so just delete that. This overlay is going to be a paint swatch and, or a paintbrush stroke, sorry. So I found this just by searching free paintbrush stroke PNG. And what PNG means is that it doesn't have a background. So the background is transparent so you can add it behind anything. And what I want to do with this paint swatch is I'm gonna make it white, just because I feel like that goes with my background a lot better, but you can change it to whatever color you want, as you can see here. I'm just gonna go white. And I'm not arranging them right now, I just wanna get all of my image pieces onto my background just so I can have them there and then I'll arrange them in a second. So I'm gonna add my last overlay which is going to be the fairy lights. And these, again, I found the same way that I found the paintbrush joke, just search free fairy lights PNG file. Make sure it's PNG so the background will be transparent. It'll make your life so much easier. All right, now that I have all of my tools I'm going to click on the YouTube channel art guide layer and I'm going to click this arrow and drag it up so now I just dragged it on top of my actual background image just so that I can arrange all of the text and um, images that I want into the text and logo safe area whoops I just moved it so first, I'm going to the logo, I mean the text. So I'm going to make this as big as I want it to be and I'm going to center it. I'm going to put it on top of the paint swatch so it doesn't cover my view. And I'm just going to put it right on top of where it says text and logo safe area. And next, I'm going to click paintbrush stroke drag it down this is a little bit too big for my liking I don't want the paint swatch to overpower the shiplap background all right so now that I have the paint brush stroke where I want it I'm going to go to the fairy lights next and I'm just going to make it as long as the um, text and logo safe area is 
And then if you, let's say you're doing something similar to this and you want the lights to show up behind the text, then you just send it backward by clicking this arrow or just by dragging it, like dragging it up in front or in back. You could do that as well. I like the lights being in front of the text just so I don't know, I feel like it just makes it look a little bit more brighter, like the lights. So then I'm gonna move the channel art guide back behind the ship lap background. And if I like how everything is arranged and how everything looks, I'm just going to delete the channel art guide layer. So I click it, make sure it's highlighted and then just dump it. And to save it, very easy, just save. Um, you could title it whatever you want. And then just save it to your computer and you're done. That is how you do this. And then you just upload it to your um, YouTube channel. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it informative. Let me know if you guys want me to share some more um, tips and some more how to's on how to do different things for YouTube, like um, thumbnails, things like that. I can do those videos for you guys if you guys want me to. Um, but yeah, that's everything. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.